And we're live. Uh. Hey guys, Aaron here and welcome back to another live watch along tonight. Hearts take on East Fife at Methyl in our final group stage game of the Betfred Cup, requiring only a point to seal top spot in the group. I am, as ever, joined by my co-host, Neil Rooney. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? Just going to get the screen looking a bit more professional as per usual and we'll run through both teams starting lineups. Starting off with Hearts in goals is number 13 Ross Stewart then we've got A.D. White, Christoph Berra finally making another appearance for Hearts almost a year after this last one which is a quite fascinating start to be honest. Ollie Lee, Craig mm-hmm. Whiten, Andy Irving, Elliot Freer, Jamie Brandon, Mihai Popescu, Ewan Henderson and Scott McGill. A rather rotated side, but to be expected given the competition and the various players away at international duty with Scotland and Northern Ireland. Your thoughts on that lineup, please. It'll be good to see um it'll be good to see the goalie again. Um to see what he's like. You know, I think we've only seen him once or I've, I've only seen him once. Um but yeah, you expected him to make loads of changes. I'm actually surprised the likes of White and Lee are playing, but then I had a look. I don't think we're playing again until until a week on Saturday. Week so, on Friday, I think it's for the Fairman. Week on Friday, you go to the Fairman. So, um, so that's probably why he's playing the likes of Lee and your whites and your whitens. So, yeah, be good. Be good. That's fair enough. To see the boy free it again. See if we can get a bit of performance out of him. <sighs> Hopefully, if our bro said anything to go by, it could be a long ninety minutes for Hearts number twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and as for the host tonight, East Fife in goals is Hart. Then you've got Murdoch, Dunslop, Higgins, Slattery, former Edinburgh City right back Aaron Dunsmore, who um, of course famously scored the winning penalty the last time these two sides met at Methyl in the Bet Fred Cup, um, giving it largely Bobby's them out. And I don't think I've done much since then, apart from scoring a goal at Tanadice. Then yeah. Davidson, I knew another Edinburgh City fan favourite, Danny Denham. Then you've of course got Hamilton on loan from Livingston and number nine Wallace completes the starting lineup for the Fifers. Your thoughts on their team? Although I don't think you'll have quite the expertise level as Hearts, but what do you think of their starting eleven? and a few former citizens yeah, in that I mix? Really, I recognise a couple. I wonder if it's a young lad in Murdoch Cup was at Rangers and obviously we know Dunsmore, we know Denham, Scott Agnew had a big, you know, he was he was meant to be a, a big. Um, prospect way back when so yeah it'll, it'll be interesting to see how they line up as well but don't really know too much on them what are they in league one now yeah, so, league one yeah it'll be interesting to see how they've been pretty static there for a while haven't they? the boy wallace i think is it ryan wallace he was at hearts a young guy if it's the same guy um spent a lot of time at dunfermline and stuff scored a lot of goals at that level so one to watch from the east five side very, very good. So the match hasn't kicked off just yet. That kicks off at 7.45. So it's time to dive as ever into the comments section. Stuart Morrison was the first person in the stream saying, Hola, there are many things I'd say to you, but I don't speak Spanish. Regardless, hope you enjoy the stream. Angus Shan asked how I'm doing. I'm doing fine, mate. Thank you for asking. I've actually got a couple of questions, so I'll, I'll run through them just now. First of all, what is, it, what is Nielsen like as manager? Better than Levine for starters, especially after watching that BBC documentary. I'm really appreciating seeing a winning Hearts team again because, by God, last season was absolutely torturous. Who is my favourite Hearts player this season? Um, well, they've all been like, played pretty well, to be honest. I'll say for his penalty goal against Hibs, Leon Boyce, just because for, for providing the biggest moment of our season so far, Caden Malone says, come on the Hearts. Good man. Jordan says hiya, and he says that Robbie is doing brilliant. Gary Fletcher asks if there's no feed for the game. East Fife, and by the way, for anyone asking what channel the game's on tonight, the game's on East Fife TV with pay per view. But um, there's no Hearts TV commentary tonight. So um, you'll be hearing East Fife TV's commentator on that feed, but there's no Hearts TV tonight. However, that has made us get a welcome surprise guest on the stream, Laurie Dunsire of Hearts TV will be joining us at halftime on this stream to talk about the first 45 minutes. So, even though we can't be on Hearts TV, 
Laurie Elson will be coming through your ears tonight. Except he'll be on my stream for a change. So score prediction asks Angus. I reckon it's a pretty heavily rotated Hearts side, but to be honest, we do need to be looking to win this game. I'll say it'll be two 0 Hearts, and then um, as for the goal scorers, I think it'll be Craig White and it'll be Christoph Berra with a back post header because it's been far, far too long since I've seen that. As for you, Neil, your thoughts on the score tonight? Uh, I would like it to be probably four. I'm going to go four nothing tonight. Four nothing, uh, and as for the goal scorers, if you want to predict them, who will we go for? We'll go for White and to get two, Ollie Lee, um, and we'll go for a Christoph Bella return goal. Sounds good to me. Angus Shand is going for two 0 to the hearts. And by the way, no fizzy juice tonight, so I shouldn't stumble uh, over my words. I'm hoping I don't. And night. also. Uh, yeah, exactly. It is a school night, and also I've got a very sad announcement. There's um, there's no pies for tonight's stream. There's oh. no pies, so there'll be no halftime pie review, unfortunately. Uh, Mary Black asks, "Are you showing the game? Because I'm new to live streams. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to show the game, Mary. But what what this is pretty much, it's almost like an accompaniment to the game. So me and Neil are going to sit here, we're going to react to the game as it happens, talk about it, and get everybody involved in the chat. But we are not actually showing footage of the game itself." So it's almost like well, like an almost like an alternative commentary team for you tonight. But um, hopefully you still enjoy it regardless. We've got a lot of people in the stream, by the way, Neil. Um, there's currently 110 people watching, which is a new personal record for this stream. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I'll be honest, I'd expect that for the Edinburgh Derby, but not East Fife on a Tuesday night. But I won't complain. I won't complain at all. So, yeah, welcome along to any new viewers. I hope you stick around for the rest of the stream. Harris Spence says... Granny Tom. Of course he says Granny Tom. Thunderbolt 114 asks, what channel is it on? And I also replied in the chat, it's on East Fife TV and it's £10 to watch the game. Let's see, any more comments? Hazaroff says hello. Alright mate. Wes says alright, I'm on the Jambos. Hazaroff is predicting it's going to be 4-0 hearts. Mackenzie Sampson says East Fife 2, Hartman Lothian 1. Hopefully not. Finn Moore says come on the Jambos. Alex Hinks says Good to see Berra back for a fresh start. Your thoughts on the um, returning captain, Neil? Um, yeah, good to have him back. I was a bit disappointed last year when they said, obviously Stendhal had his reasons, but said they were getting rid of him. Um, an experienced set of half that's played at the highest level. And, and, you know, it maybe wasn't great at times last year, but um, I think he's fell into the Halkett Hearts injured centre half sort of oh no we need to rush him back and get him in quick mm -hmm. Halkett was the same Suter's the same we've done it with them all the guys are the robots eh? so yeah, it's good uh, to run back good to run back Ross McGregor asks after watching the first few games who will be our closest title rivals this season it pains me to say it but I think it'll be Wraith Rovers they've started like a team possessed some of the, what, the, 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 I can't speak. Didn't they win like 5 0 at the weekend? Something stupid like that? Yeah, it's a big result, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they were deemed to be a tight game but by the bookies. But um, yeah. yeah, it was a good result for them. Good result. Right. To be honest, um, that result there. What's that, sorry? Is it Dooku up front? Manny Dooku, yeah, the big number nine. He looks good. He looks apart, so. I don't know. It'd be dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say something and I actually completely forgot what I was going to say. Actually, yeah, um, the result by our backup brigade in the, the cup, obviously with White and scoring that hat trick, I think that's made ever more impressive by the start East Fife, not East Fife, Wraith Rovers have made. Like that result, seeing how our B team dealt with them and they've now started like a really good team. So I reckon that puts more shine on that result, to be honest seeing mm -hmm. how our backup brigade dispatched one of the form teams in the league this season. Speaking mm -hmm. of teams, out coming the boys in Maroon, Rianne Lawson says, I'm away watching the game. Well, you are from Fife, so I'd expect that from you, to be honest. You'll probably be in a shipping container somewhere. Fair enough, wouldn't be me, because I'm nice and warm. Did you see yourself in the documentary? I did, actually. Unfortunately, I was pulling some sort of hideous <laughs> eye for, like... It was like, uh, I was standing with my friend's brother for like a second. Like, see, before um, Stendhal walks out to, for the first time, uh, and you see me you see me standing up at the fence holding my camera. <laughs> I can't escape the beep these days, can I? I know, exactly. I know. I hope you're getting uh, royalties. 
I, I, I better get charged. Have, have you got your stream set up, by the way? Um, no, it's not. I'm trying to pay for it, and it's taking its time. Aye, it's so, saying. Um, I was forgetting something. It's something like you can't pay it with a bank card now. It has to be PayPal or something oh, like. Yeah. They were having issues with the payment, I think. So, for once, I'm ahead of you because you've not got a stream for the time being. <laughs> yes! Get in there! Don't jump about and go metal. Well, it's paid for, so I guess I can just hopefully log in. Aye. Just, just log in and go to like, the page, so it should work. Andrew Brown says, Enjoying these regular live streams. Always seem to tune in. Always nice in there. F- fellow Jambo commentate beats listening to any biases. Good man. I'm glad you're tuning in. Oh, here we go. Tiger Beer's back. Here we go. Salamat, Paggy. Good morning. 3.40. Just woke up in time. Cup of tea and the Tiger is let loose back with you soon. Get in there. Oh, things we love to see, honestly. A cup of tea. You know, a cup of tea, you know, you, you, no beer. Cup of tea and a Tiger Beer. The game is underway at Methyl. And I'm going to go through a couple of more comments. Callum McHale thinks Boyce Hatchick. Well... Boyce isn't playing. Boyce isn't in the heart squad. Boyce is moving Northern Ireland, so that could prove difficult. But with the box, white in! Ollie Lee shoots! Scores! 1 0 hearts! 20 seconds on the clock, and Ollie Lee has fired the Jambos in front. What a start! What a start for the Jambos! Mr. Rooney has not got his stream on, and already hearts have found the back of the net. Unreal stuff! Close range finish from Hearts number 8. Drilled into the bottom left corner. Well, I wasn't expecting that. No. Won no. the Hearts. You know what'll happen, I'll turn it on and it'll be absolutely horrendous now. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, what? That's mental. Right. Time to um, time to update that score graphic quickly. East 5-0. Hearts 1. Goal yeah. scorer. Missed right. it. Ollie. Oh, I've got it on now. Get in there. Right, Wait, what, what second are you in? Like, what's your aim? Um... I'm a minute 11. I'm a minute 23. Can you pause it? Uh, yes, I can. Right, I'm on a minute 25 just now, mate, so just let me know what's going on. Okay. Go. Uh, Alright. I'm a minute. Two hearts go again! This is mental! Ollie Lee! Ollie Ollie Lee! Ollie Ollie Lee! I think that's 2 0. Um, I can get something, uh, I'll be quick. I need a refreshment. That's too, unfortunately, I missed the second goal because, um, <laughs> because Stephen, you made me pause it, right? I paused it and I unpaused it and I've seen 2 0. Thanks for that. Ruined my night. <laughs> what is going on? Two minutes, two goals, two nil hearts. Well, already looks like this is absolutely know. mental stuff. <laughs> oh, I do love playing away from home. I really do. It's absolutely absurd. <laughs> Somebody for um, not keeping up with your comments, by the way. I'll um pop into the section and answer them. But your 4 1 prediction is looking very realistic now. Stuart to oh. score 5 goal kicks in a penalty? Well, unfortunately for you guys, your 1 0 prediction is going at the water in 2 minutes and 45 seconds. This is absolutely mental. This is absurd. What is going on here? What's that, Neil? It's only 2 0. I know. Right. Can't wait to hear Laurie tonight. Liam Shield says hi. Alright, Grant, mate. How are you doing? Nothing about tonight, but do you think Scotland will win on Thursday? I hope so. It's the biggest game of my life thing for the Scotland national team anyway, because it's, uh, you know, we can go to a tournament, and that's um, unheard of for somebody of my age. I've never seen Scotland play in a major tournament, so well, it would be mental if we could. I don't want to win, don't want to be back, but I have. I'm so, old, Neil. Well, I was going to tell you, when you started high school, did you get a three-day visit? Yeah, we did. Right, so I went to Portobello, the old Portobello, so the one that was a death trap in the big tower. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, I know the one you're on about, mate. I've walked past it a few times before um, it was demolished, obviously. The Scotland's game against Brazil, the opening day of the World Cup in 98, 
my first day of my three-day visit to high school. Started at half four or something, and everybody finished at four. And then as soon as the bell went, you just seen everybody running. I've never seen so many people run up the road so quickly to watch it. It was like a half four or five o'clock kickoff or something. So yeah, that's how long ago that was. I was eleven year old. Eleven year old in your first day of yeah. high school. I was like thirteen. So everything have changed. Anyway. Harris Spence says, 3-2 hearts. Well, I don't see that one happening anymore. Liam Shields says, thank you for doing the watch-alongs. No bother, mate. Glad you enjoy. Henry Hill predicts 4-0. Liam Shields predicts 4-2. Nathan B says, 2-0. Well, your predictions came correct. Let's see. Callum McHale is from Northern Ireland. Fair dues, fair dues. Jamie McKenzie is talking to people, I think. What's the documentary called? The documentary is called This Is Our Story Inside Hearts. Kaden Malone says, Mon the Hearts, good stuff. Aidan Cooper, evening, gents. Well, I thought um, you'd be at the game with Ian Coops. Disappointed. Plastic. Plastic fan. Liam Shields says, 4 2. Daniel McCaig says, First time tuning into your live stream. Thanks for hosting. No bother, mate. Welcome to the party. Hopefully you'll stay for some more future streams. Callum McHale says, I'm from Northern Ireland and we're going to the Euros, well, you lot are accustomed to European Championship football. <laughs> we are not. We are not, so... Are they, are... Though, are they guys not... Um, are they Northern Ireland have to qualify as well, don't they? They're in the same position as Scotland. They do, yeah. They've got a playoff against... I don't know who they're playing, to be honest. But I know they've got a playoff game anyway. So, Aye, a good team. Like Ives says going the Jambos. West says good start. Pff, good start. It's an understatement. Hearts on the ball again, by the way. Oh, Whiten's fell over. Is it Whiten? Nah, it's Eddie White, actually. Sorry, they're both bald. Leave me be. I'm specky, alright? Just oh, forgive the ice, alright? You're well ahead of me. Are you? I'm six minutes 02. What are you? I'm not even at six minutes yet. Alright, well, I'll pause it. I think yeah. when I unpause it, it just skips to as live anyway. Yeah, it does. So even if I pause it, it just skips me to live. Don't worry about it. It's not It's not like the Scottish Cup. This is a more mellow affair. Yeah. I Maybe can just like, can be just like, I can shout about the goal and you, your live reaction can be your post-goal reaction, if you will. <laughs> it'll do nicely. It'll do nicely. 178 people in this broadcast. What is going on? Welcome, welcome everybody. Yes, I agree, Jackis. A rather fast start for the Gorgie. What's going on? Could it be Cody Beetle over again? Hopefully. Nice. He's fighting the ball in the box, and it's taken away to the corner flag. Played in to the left wing up now. Oh. He's fighting the ball into the box. Dangerous. Oh, no. Cleared Good away. Ewan Henderson's now on the ball. Dribbling off to the left-hand side. Daniel Smith. I went off my head. It's only his fife, mate. Go ahead. Glenn Tube says 5 0 to Hearts. Oli, Oli, Oli. Yeah, that's correct. 20 0. Hmm. I think not. Andrew Mate says one the Hearts. 90 0 goal a minute. Oh, bottom of the box. Ooh, well gathered by the East 5 goalie. Hawk Alba Gut Brath. I am back. Cancelled the tea straight into the fun fridge and a tiger is open. Just heard you saying 2 0. I'm finding the game with Hearts pay per view. And can't see any storyline on your stream. Um, the game is on East Fife TV tonight because they're the home team. So if you go into um, EFTV.info, um, I'll, I'll, I'll fire it in the banner too. But if you go into EFTV.info, then you'll be able to um, access the website. Um, EFTV.info. I've just, po I've just popped it in the, um, the banner for reference. So that's see you next to Ollie Lee's name. It's just eftv.info. That is the web address that you'll require to watch the game live tonight. Actually, I might do it so it just doesn't scroll across the bottom. Let's see. Can you put it right at the top of the page? No. Uh, I don't think I can put anything up the top. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And if you see EFTV info down there, just pop that into your, your web browser and you'll be able to watch the game. But it's also a £10 fee. <laughs> Yeah, Adam Hill just joined the stream. What were the goals like? The first goal was a, a close range finish to the bottom left corner, and the second goal, I never seen it. 
I've never seen it because somebody made me pause my stream. I wonder who that was, Neil Rooney. <laughs> so um, I've not seen the second goal, and there's no replays for um, no. for the game on East Five TV tonight. So unfortunately, goal, what that? what's that? Corner. The second goal was a corner from the right hand side and just played short into the box. Normally, Lee had a shot, and it just seemed to go through everybody. Craig White in, ooh, almost a third goal for Hearts, but it's cleared away behind the goal. So yeah, there's your second goal coverage. Sorry, I see it on the feed now. Nice, no bother at all. Let's see. What? Delete your tweet. I've deleted the tweets very well on about. Do you remember me from the Hearts Hamilton game? I said 4 0, but you're wrong. Yes, I do remember that. To be honest, 4 0 was a bit optimistic, to be honest. Generic person says Ollie Lee for a hat trick. To be fair, I wonder how many people um, have backed Ollie Lee to score tonight. Mm -hmm. To be fair, you did. You did say that Ollie Lee was going to score. Mm -hmm. um, Shreds and Trips thinks it's going to be a good 6 or 7 0 tonight. 4 0. Hello there, Blair. How are you doing? Hi, Coops. So I love you. Get back in your snus and behave yourself. Ian Og says 8 0. I wouldn't mind any. I wouldn't mind a cricket score. Ball in the box, headed away. I can actually see a Kirkcaldy Hearts flag behind the goal. Excellent, excellent stuff. Can you see it, Neil? Behind them. Yes, I can see it. Yeah. See that um, that advert for above the Windsor. I always used to thought that say Agenda Levine, but it's leaving. It's like, see, every time I went to East Fife away, I'm like, why does it say Levine? But <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Northern Ireland still have a final to play. Will you do a stream for the Scotland game? Not on this channel, but I'll be over on Gogsy's Pass the Mic for the Scotland game. So if you want to come and join us on Pass the Mic on Thursday night, fire away and join us on over on Gogsy's channel. But there'll be no stream on my channel for that game. Hearts Admin is loving it, <sighs> to be honest. I can imagine. You'll have pretty cold um, fingers, so we try to tweet fun stuff to warm his hands up. Andrew McDonald says he watched the documentary. Very good for a Rangers fan. Um, Joshua Freer, a Don's fan, hope we win the Scottish Cup. Um, the documentary, there's three episodes of it, and they're each about an hour long, just short of an hour. Perny Velo Club says, all right, how are we doing? Double figures on Nielsen out, 5-0 hearts. Let's see, Lee for a hat-trick. £10 to watch, that is fair. But East Fife are one of the few clubs that didn't want us relegated, so your maroon pound, if you will, can be spent guilt-free. So don't you worry. Who do you think is going to win the league this year? Championship, Hearts, League 1, Cove Rangers, League 2, Queen's Park and the Premiership. I reckon it'll be Rangers, to be honest. I can't see Celtic winning it back from here. Hearts treble. See, I wish we could, but unfortunately, the Iron Brew Cup's not getting played this season. It's, um, I think it's the SPFL Trust Cup now as well, but it's not getting played this season. However, we can always go for two Scottish Cups instead. Doc back when you're can't wait to watch the doc when you're back from work in the morning it's decent also keep an eye out for me right adam hill what were the goals like um already went through that first one close range finish second one was a slightly longer range finish here's ollie lee ah he tried to do it with outside of the foot but unfortunately couldn't quite manage to get it through didn't mean tweet me and comment i've not touched any comments to be honest it just must have sent i can't show the game because it's not my footage to show it's east five tv's footage to show so unfortunately i'm not allowed to show it angus shand watched the documentary it was pretty good <laughs> ky hearts ollie lee has been poor last few games hopefully we always clicked him into gear i'd agree he's not been amazing to be fair decent ball on for hamden like we said but to be fair he's not done much apart from that your thoughts on ollie lee so far neil i think he's been all right <clears throat> it's good to have him back but um i think he's one of these guys where We've got so many guys that are really good in the middle of the park that will be more disruptive that I think he could end up getting pushed out wide. Or if we play three in midfield, he'll be the furthest one forward. Um, I do like him, but he's kind of in between a sort of attacking midfielder oh, and a ten. Lee oh, almost made it 3-0. I'm, I'm glad to have him back. Mm -hmm. Now... Andy Irving on the ball, plays it to Ewan Henderson. Quick one-twos over the top towards A.D. White. A.D. White hooks it back into the box towards Scott McGill. 
East Fife player goes up with a hands in the air and a summer free kick, even though McGill's not even touched him and Hearts have got a player on the deck now. I do believe it is Ollie Lee that's now hit the floor. Looks so to be in a, a degree of discomfort and the, the physio's actually getting brought on. But he went down when he tried to have a shot. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know if he slipped or he's collided with somebody, so... <sighs> That's the last thing you want. He scored two goals and now he's, he's now down uh, looking quite uncomfortable. He's slipping the dodgy pitch. It's an awful surface, Methyl. Awful, awful surface. Daniel Smith asks what channels are on. It is on EFTV.info. Chuck that into your browser and pay your 10 quid. Nathan Pringle, anyone got a stream? East 5 TV, mate. Copyright reasons, that's correct. What's been your favourite game since the football came back? Has to be 2-1 at Hamden. Can <laughs> you can you send a link to Gogsy's channel? It's just um, youtube.com slash gogsy99. Aidan Cooper says, Aaron, you specky hot dog. If all Lee scores a hat-trick, I'll buy you a bottle of MD2020. I'll take you up on that offer, mate. That's £9 saved. That's £9 saved. Andrew McDonald, I saw you in the documentary. You were standing in the stands. I was indeed. Mackenzie mm-hmm. Simpson, I like a cut G. I got a cut about a week and a half ago, mate, but cheers. What's the website? It is EFTV.info. What's the score? It is 2 0 to Hearts. Um, Adam Hill thought Ollie Lee was great in the semi final. Would you agree, Neil? I thought he played really well in the semi final, yeah. Um, I'd, give him, I'd give him high pass marks. I'd say so too. Nice high pass and a white for the opener as well. Definitely, yeah. That's what you need out of him, so. Just uh, as I say, whether he's going to play in there with one stop or he's going to be have a bit more of a free roll, we'll see. But he's back on the pitch now, so hopefully, uh, we'll that's, a, that's a relief to be honest. Grant Tanag says, Good to see Berra back, he can definitely do his part in the championship this season. I would agree. He would see when he was alone at Dundee, but we'll, we'll ignore that. Um, the only um, they didn't, they didn't lose a game that he played in. And I'm pretty sure they kept Queen Sheets in all bar one. Uh-huh. And that's some record, to be fair. Brandon heads it behind for an East Fife corner. Well, you're really far ahead, eh? 60 minutes, 12 seconds. <sighs> well, really you on. Unfortunately. Claude the Leopard says, no one cares when it's the SPFL, then why on a Scottish football stream? Grow up. Would you bring a striker into the team in January if you were the manager? What do you say, Neil? Would you bring in a striker? No. Definitely not. I think we've got enough. Yeah, I'm pretty content with who we've got. And if, besides, we've, always, we've got youth players too, like if we want to bring in some more depth. Robbie Hanna reckons that Berra will be good against teams such as Alloa. I mean, to be fair, see against teams like Alloa, it's always a physical battle, and Berra does bring that physicality. So... God, oh, I'm bopping again. It's water! It's water! Why can't I speak? Fuming, honestly. Right, that's what we jambos want. St. Evan B is a better listen than Sports Sound. Well, thank you very much. That's high praise. We do our best. No. No. <laughs> Diffuse. All the Biden to score. Ban fake pitches, do you agree, Neil? Should plastic pitches be banned? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's they shouldn't be banned. They should just no. be better. I reckon. Yes, better quality. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 a way of like East Fife might not be playing football, or you know, at the level they are, they might have been demoted. You know, for the money that's probably saved them over the years to to not have to keep replacing grass pitches. You you see how bad Tynecastle used to get. Oh, see, a couple of years ago it was rancid in the winter. That, we're in the Premier League, so, you know, you've got to think of these teams in the lower league. Well, we were in the Premier League anyway. Sorry, we were. Anymore, we're not. <laughs> Ball into the box. Ah, keeper claims it off Whiten. Let's see. Cole plays Fortnite, says hi. Josh Fishate says happening. Let's see. Hardest part of your broadcast is the stupid question. Brain donors. Aye. I, I'm try- I help folk as best I can, right? I try to cater to everybody. That's why I've got the score. And the where are we pointing? And the website right. on the bottom of the screen for everybody's benefit. Just have to go great smashing. I'll see you there on Thursday. Let's see any more comments. 
Hashtag slow cooker club. Shout out to Forrest Smalls. What a man. Let's see. How do you feel about the season so far? I mean, we're undefeated. It's going absolutely perfectly, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, Neil, our good friend Grant Finlayson asks, where do you, would you say the current Hearts team would finish in the Premiership? Um, probably fourth or fifth. I would say fourth or fifth too. Yeah. I reckon if we need, to, if we want to push on, uh, push for third, we have to make a few more signings. I know we've got decent for the level we're at. We've got good strength and depth, but if we're wanting to really challenge up the top end of the table, we need to bring in some more qual- real quality signings and depth. I'd say. You probably look at Rangers, Celtic, Aberdeen. And then, you know, it depends on how well the likes of Motherwell and that have, because I know they've not started great, eh? so mm-hmm. you're probably looking at, like, a team like that, and then Hearts, um, and then probably our neighbours would probably prop us up in, in mm-hmm. sixth place. I'd say so, yeah. James Tarwan asks for our score predictions for the Scotland game. I'll be optimistic, I'll say 1-0 Scotland. Yeah, we're, um, we're going to have a bet between me and my mates. We're going to have a 1-0 Andy Considine or a 1-0 London Dykes. That's a pretty safe bet to me. I'd say the 1-0 London Dykes. Ooh, dangerous there, but Ross Stewart hooks the ball clear. Do you think we'll give Celtic a good game in the cup final and maybe even win? Yes. I think so too. It's a free hit. We've got nothing to lose, really. Nobody expected us to have a chance of winning against Ibs. So... The same token, nobody will have a chance thinking we've got a chance against Celtic. You're right, it's a free hit. Just have a go. Right, if we lose, we lose. But um, if we win, it's outstanding. Yeah, I mean, but that's... I suppose it's... Getting to cup finals is a big thing. So, you know, you can't really... You've got to... You've, I suppose the way you've got to look at it is that if every player walks off the G, walks off and can look at each other in the changing room after it and go, I've gave them all the day and we've been beat, then you're fine. If everybody, somebody walks off with a wee bit of doubt and goes, I could have gave more. Then, you know, that's where you're having a problem. So mm-hmm. that's what you can really so. ask of them, eh? Mm-hmm. Or you can ask it if they try. And it would be absolutely typical if they pulled it off behind closed doors. But to be honest, right? See, I, I couldn't care. Like, if we win the Scottish Cup, it's regardless if I'm watching it in my bedroom, it's still one of the best days of my life. If we, if we beat Celtic for a cup final, yeah, we did that. Really I mean, you, you, you've seen it in um, actually, no, you've not. You've seen it's Rangers in 98 Celtic Park because I'm getting confused. Yeah, what's the link to the live stream? The link to the live stream once again is eftv.info. Can you put the score banner up? The score banner is now put back up. Adam Hill, how would you feel about Jason Cummings coming to Hearts and would you say it'd have an impact? Um, I would say it would have an impact. Would he come to Hearts? I don't think he would go to Hearts, to be honest. Nah, I don't think he would. To be, like, he always gets linked, but it's just like, it's one of them, like, he's down south on good money and I see no reason why he'd want to come to Hearts. Like, see... Well, to be fair, I think his contract's up at the end of the season, so maybe once we're back in the Premiership, hopefully by the end of this year, then yeah. you never know. But I don't yeah. think he... He wouldn't have come to the Championship, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I'm, I, yeah, if I'm, I don't know. I don't know if he would be a good acquisition. Yeah. Honest, but. I mean, um, obviously he's... Excuse me, he's played at this level before with Hibs, but that was like a number... I was just trying to break through. He's now like an established... Um, footballer down there, so it's not and like scoring goals against Liverpool in the cup. So it's not like he's a nobody anymore. Like he's mm-hmm. on good money. Mm-hmm. So and, and to be fair, I don't think Hearts would be in the business of chucking a lot of money on a, on a maverick forward. And we've already got Liam Boyce, Craig White, and Naismith, who are all doing the business so far. Yeah. Like we've got no real pressing need to get another striker. I'd say I wouldn't say we do. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. Mm-hmm. What are you watching the game on? East Fife TV. Thank you very much, Wes or R two D two, for doing my job for me. Um, Neil, you've got a request. Neil, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he spelled my name wrong as well, so that's not going to happen. Oh, it's N E A L. Also, <laughs> although, although spelling isn't Mr. Miller's strong point, and I'll leave it at that. Davy uh-huh. Law, is an invincible season a realistic shout? No, I don't think so. No. 
He's fighting for the pot shot, and it's almost out of the stadium. That is god awful. That'll be in the road. Probably will be. Woo! Have that. The phrase, a vet, comes to mind. Yeah, a great advert. Mm hmm. Joshy Fishy asks D Soup or MD2020? I mean, if Ollie, Lee, if Ollie Lee scores a hat trick, I'm getting MD2020 bought for me by Coops allegedly. So, because I'm getting it for free, I'll say MD2020. I'll have a freebie, what can I say? Yeah. Let's see. Was it the two quickest goals in Fortnite? Pardon. In Fortnite? Uh, I'm not seeing the correlation here, to be honest. Rob Old Goth says, Good evening, Aaron. Fantastic watching you develop. Brilliant show. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Oh, it was a spelling mistake. It was It was meant to say football, Neil. It was, it was an autocorrect. Ball in the box. Right in! Goal! But it's been called back. Ah, cheers, ref. Ruined my night. Oh, it's called it back. Why is it called it back? I don't know. Surely, yeah, I'll take a quick free kick. Odd. Score still stays at East 5 0, Hearts 2. Alistair Williamson says, Should we have held on to Washington? Um, I, I quite like them, but I don't think we were ever going to keep on to him because of the money he's on. Yeah. I, I liked him as a player. He was a nice guy, too. But to be honest, we had to get rid of a few. Like, we got rid of Uche, obviously. We also got rid of Washington. And yeah. Well, like it, you can tell he's a good player. He's he scored like something like five goals and six for Charlton, so like, yeah. he's not like a bad player. Irvine shoots into the wall. Jimmy Brandon's in the ball, shoots and that's over the over the wall, into the watching Kirkcaldy Heart Supporters Club. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I reckon. But also because of his injury, he was kind of restricted, so he had a low goal return, injured on big money, and. In all honesty, in need of a fresh start, so there was no real question for me. Like he was always going to leave if he had an offer, and yeah. obviously he went to Charlton. Hawk Albuquerque says he's in. If you have time, let me know what time you're watching. Um, I'm in at 26 minutes and 12 seconds, but um, with the East Five TV, if you po it doesn't let you pause it. So even if I pause it, let Neil catch up and unpause it. It just skips me ahead to the real time. So unfortunately, you can't really sync it up properly, but. Hopefully you're still going to enjoy it regardless. I've been I've been asked to take my glasses off if Ollie Lee scores a hat trick. Deal. If we win the game, it will be a big remembrance for Zalikus and those that died in the war. Fair dues, although we did win on Remembrance Day. It was it was Remembrance Day, yeah, that we won on. Remembrance Day is tomorrow. What a save! Oh, is that a goal kick? Oh, I thought it was a save, but Ross Stewart made a fine stop, but it was already out for a goal kick. But yeah. We've already done that one, I reckon, for um, for Zaliukas and the, the boys that fought in the war. Cash more commentary, please. Okay. Any info on Hearts was doing well on loan? Um, Leader Macavora is on loan at um, Brecon City, and he scored his first professional goal the other week. However, um, they also got tub for next again week. Um, where do you think Hearts will finish in the championship? Top of the championship at the end of the season. Obviously, we're let third just now on like goal difference or something but we're undefeated like to start the season come on like we are going to win the week we are going to win the week honestly this is better than sports scene high praise thank you very much see rory is now um spelt your name right you'll be delighted to know <laughs> uh, do you think sean clear made a mistake going to oxford i wouldn't say so no. i mean I, was happy to get rid of him. I mean, to be fair, I've actually had a look out of curiosity on some Oxford United fans forums and they really don't rate him. He's not a right back. Um, oh. He's been signed as a right back by them, by the way. Like, well, I don't really rate him either, to be honest. He's done well under Stendhal, uh, but it wasn't for me. That's fair, dudes. I mean, to be fair, he was our best penalty taker since Paul Hartley, so you got to give him that, I suppose. That's true, yeah. We spent a lot oh, of money on that. Oh! Ewan Henderson was briskly and brutally brought to the floor by a late challenge for the East Fife right back. Pretty late, would you say, Neil, that challenge? Yeah, that's quite a late challenge. Mm -hmm. but... yeah. Professional. 
Mm. Aye, professional fellow, you could call it that. Mark Walker says we're going to win the Scottish Cup. Toby1874 says love the watch always keep it up. Thank you very much. Aaron Max says, I thought I seen you on TV last night. You did. That was me in the documentary for like one second. Mary Blacks asked me to ask you this as well, Neil. Will Bera be fit for the final? Uh, I think Bell will be fit for the final. Whether he plays in the final is a different story. Yeah. Pescu on it. Pescu chips it back stick. Ball's in there. It's going to drop. Possibly. Maybe. The cameras are keeping up. Uh, the ball's now out of the Hearts box. Back with Eddie White, who passes it back to Ross Stewart. Rory, oh, who spells it like that? Neil spells it like that. Leave it out. <laughs> Come on. Chuck him it. Chuck him it. Aye. Uh, Nah, I'll not talk about it. He'll moan at me later if I do. <laughs> Liam 101. Should Aaron Hickey have stayed at Hearts? Pff, no chance. No. no danger should he have stayed. I'd, I really don't think... I, I can't see any reason why Hickey would want to stay in a Scottish Championship but he's now playing in Italy in the top league. Admittedly, I just seen today it, 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 it seems once again allergic to Scotland appearances because he's pulled out the 21 squad with injury. Does he? Yeah. Well, I reckon it'll be, it'll be the same story as Hearts. It would be like match fatigue. Well, no, I don't know because I think there's a big thing about the Italian FA letting players uh, go to their international teams. Ah, right. Um, and I don't think Bologna are going to pay for a Scottish under-21 international to go on a private jet. Um, Fair point. Although, with the amount of talking up the Twitter admin does for him, you think they may at least give him a a jet of some description. I know, I know, I know, but I think that's the talk, so, because there's talk of a few of the Serbia guys being missing for the weekend. Uh, for the Scotland game, which would be quite nice. Al- Alistair Williamson says, I would like Toby Sibic back. Nah, yeah, I disagree, he wasn't, he wasn't special, really. Like, he was alright, I suppose. Toby Sibic, yeah, he was alright. He, he was, was alright, but like, he was only ever a, like, a short-term sign, I reckon. Yeah. He also only played like two games, so yeah. I think he would be alright, but then you know, it's... So, Hearts fans, I'm guilty of it sometimes, but we we love like wanting former players back. Yeah, no, I get that. I quite yeah. like the boys a bit, though. I would have liked to see them stay for the whole year. Mm-hmm. Oh, obviously before the virus stopped the Premiership. Yeah. Let's see. Do you think Hearts will win the Scottish Cup? I'd say yes. William Hughes, uh, I'm, I'm to ask you, Neil, what's your chippy order? What do you get from the chippy? <sighs> Depends what we're doing. <laughs> um, I don't really have a, don't really have a favourite chippy sort of order these days, to be honest. Um, if you were going to go at half time, what, what, are you, what are you feeling tonight? If you were going to go at half time, what would you get? Uh, I used to go for a mince pie and chips when I was younger. That used to be my go-to. Mm-hmm. That, so that will we'll go with mince pie and chips. Sounds not too bad. Yeah. Do you think if Berat was faster and fitter, he'd be a much better centre back? Aye, I'd say so. But obviously, he absolutely demolished his hamstring like two years ago, so that'll be why he's not as fast and fit as he used to be. I wouldn't say he's not. Yeah, I think so. I think he's earlier in his career, he was quick enough and quick enough. Across the ground, playing centre half, um, but like you say, he's just had a really, really bad injury, and it's come at that point in his career, it's come at near the end of his career, you know. So, mm-hmm. as you'll learn as you get older, it takes you longer to recover from stuff. Mm-hmm. Mary Black asks, "Where's Machino? He is on loan at Vio AFC from Manchester City. What's your thoughts on Naismith? God, love him. V- very well taken goal against Inverness for the opener." Uh, you'll be pleased to know my stream has stopped. Stopped? Yeah. <laughs> do, you ra- do you rate Jordan Roberts? You're being asked. Eh, it's a slow start, I guess, but give him time. There's clearly a player in there. Just has to like, really get up to speed to really unlock his potential. Mm-hmm. I would say so, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not... Um... I don't know, this movie something. Oh, look at the pitch there. Go on, there, Vin. Bottom of the box. Ah, cleared the way. Your stream back online, wasn't it? My stream is now. Andy Irvin's just made a wee dart and run, yeah. Yeah. 
smashing stuff. Let's see. Sean Clare is missed in the opinion of Henry Hill. Fair does. What's what's my Chinese order? My Chinese order is um <sighs> I do like I do like some duck and pancakes. I do I'll admit I do like that. What about yours, Neil? Don't eat the stuff, mate. Do you know? But, nah. What a chippy kind of guy. Even then, I I'm not a, a, a the most I really get is like a take away pizza these days. That's mm-hmm. Do you, the, do you go to the rig? Do I go where? The rig on West Rig Road. No, um, normally I would, I would go, there's Giovanni's around the corner from me. Ah, that's fair uh, enough. Right. And what's the one at the top uh, lock end? Javits. Ah, oh, Angelo's. Oh, Angelo's, yeah. Angelo's. Or, um, as, as my friend Cuck would call it, Angelo's. An- Angelo's, yeah. I don't know why he calls it. Pizza, and they're always really quick. Aye. I actually went to Angelo's after the 3-1 derby at Easter Road because I lost my voice. I just bought a, like, a massive £1 bottle of lemonade and like, chugged it in about a minute. <laughs> but, and when I got home, I still couldn't speak. Excellent stuff. Cole plays Fortnite. I just subbed to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cole. Hope you stick around. How do we reckon Edinburgh City will get on this season? Playoffs are a push. We've not started very well. Yeah, I, I would be lucky if we get to the playoffs. Based on current form, anyway. I think um, if, if they don't pick up, as you're, I hope you've listened to Bob and I doing our podcast. I have, um, actually, yeah. You're, you're not impressed with a start. No, exactly. If, if it doesn't pick up, it's meant to be a no-holds-barred podcast as well. So I feel the gloves might be off and it might be a bit more uh, cutthroat in the next one, if is the way I can put it. Ooh. Mr. Fallon's not happy for the pair. Who oh, no. Has a rough Popescu or Halkett? Well, they're both playing, so that question's a bit irrelevant, to be honest. What what players should Hart sign? Um, I think we're fine for now. I mean, if somebody gets injured, and obviously we're going to the free agent market, but we're fine for now. What's well, the score of a couple of Rockets? It's doing there, your Rocket. 2 0 Lee double. How many times? Hells, hells. Honestly, what's been your favourite goal since you started the channel? Um, if you mean a goal that I've caught on camera, Liam Boyce's run out against Rangers has to be up there. Like that had ever had the commentary. Ethan probably goes down. It's not a penalty. I thought that was to be honest. You're probably getting like a five seconds. Deal. I thought he could have had a case for a penalty there. Oh, seen penalties going. Now waiting on the ball on the right hand side. Puts it to Jimmy Brandon. Hart's now in the East Fife half. Ollie Lee. Ollie Lee. Shoots! Oh! Doesn't get his hat check. Wasn't far off. That was almost a bottle of 2020. I know. Oh, see, oh, East Fife are in. What is he doing? What is he doing there? Wait to see what the East Fife boy tries. Oh. <laughs> what is he doing there? Just flex it up for no reason. Just stick a leg at it. It's a goal. He's clearly had a, a couple of games of foot rivals before he's come out to win rivals to get his games up and trying to the old uh, flick stick over the top. <laughs> yeah, he has tried that, to be honest. What youngsters do I see potential in? I'd, well, I, definitely Scott McGill. Definitely Scott McGill. He's the main one for me. Um, Mackenzie Cook, son of Andy, just because he was dad, he's going to look out for, I think, in a couple of years' time. Um, he signed professionally but Hearts not long ago. Um, Harry Gordon's another good one coming through the academy. Um, I, th- there's a good few players that are coming through that I reckon in a, a good, maybe obviously a good few years time because they're only like 16 now. But I reckon they could really become top players. What's my go-to meal deal? Um, it's a chicken and bacon sub, um, the, uh, the the apple juice and a boost duo. I do, that's my go-to meal deal. Shot! Save! Goal, East Fife. Pull one back. And I can't quite see who scored that, but I'll Number try and 15. find out. He looks about two or three yards offside. Number 15 scored. Number 15 for East Fife, is it? Right. Yeah. I'll get that one updated. East Fife won two hearts. I'm not sure who found the back of the net, but I'll just... Um, I'll quickly hop on Twitter and find that one out for you. 
Let's see. At Jam Tarts. Hamilton. The Livingston Loney. Hamilton finds it for East Fife and Hearts have now only got a one goal lead. Not going to be the easy game that everybody predicted, I think. East Fife are by no means dead and buried. What young... I've already answered that question, actually. How do you feel about Elliot Freer? He started slowly, but he does... Um, he does have something about him. And if he never had something, we wouldn't have signed him, I don't think. So, it's all about getting up to speed. The same with Roberts. Him and Roberts have to both get up to speed, really. But... Yeah. Leo Alexandro asks, will Craig God be picked on Thursday? I hope so. He's still in my mind the best keeper in this country. I don't think it will. Be. What are you doing, son? What a safe shot! Jeez, oh! Get it out! Somebody! Out! 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 Nervy stuff. All of a sudden they've come back into this game. I don't like it very much. Not liking this at all. Well, all right. Aye. Do I have TikTok? Yes, I do have TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't use it very often, but I, I have. Like I don't like that my name is mentioned on that either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess if Neil Rooney were doing WAP, that would, that, would, that would make 2020 a, a whole different place. <laughs> but yes, I, 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 it's just at Aaron Fraser 37 if you want to go and look at it, but I, I barely use it. So, no much point in my opinion. Unsubscribed. <sighs> poor show. Poor, poor show. Unsubscribed? You're having a giggle. Why? Let's see. My God. There's so many comments I haven't even looked at. Right, here we go. I'm back up back up to speed. At this point, it's a Q&A. That's kind of what live streams are, mate, to be honest. Um, even a Doberman. Score. East Fife 1, Heart of Midlothian 2. Thank you and good night. Adam Hill, what's our thoughts on Popescu? Will he get a game when John Suter's back fit? Once John Suter's fully back fit, I don't think so. Suter and Halkett is my ideal centre back partnership. What about you, Neil? Um, the jury's out. I think the guy's got a few months to prove that he's good enough. For what we've seen so far, he looks good. Um, I'm not convinced Halkett and Suter will be a good partnership. How's that? Do you feel they don't call for each other very well? Not at all, no. Um, but a fully fit Craig Halkett might prove himself this season how good he is. But I wasn't That's convinced when I'm last year. Beldre asks, how's the game going? It's, it's going alright, I suppose we're winning. <laughs> Aye. Oh, I just realised how could he been playing? What am I talking about? Boss. Professor and better, yeah. Professor and better. Yeah. I'm, I'm forgetting better's back. Let's see. Ride Tube says he plays for City. He's nine year old. Fair do to you. Fair do to you. If you've, more, you've had more games for City than me, and I support them. <laughs> Who's winning? Hearts are winning by two goals to one. Look at the bottom of the screen. The score is there. How are you watching the game? Again. Look at the bottom of the screen. The link is there. Yeah. East Fife TV. Worst player, Hans Eckelson. Who's that? Oh, Hans Eckelson's going way back. Yeah, you need to Google him. Google Hans Eckelson. Was he bad? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he was bad, yeah. I remember him playing in a testimonial. Was it Neil Berry's testimonial? And Hearts had a maroon tartan kit. I've seen uh, I've seen a few of them kicking about on eBay actually I think. Hi, dude. Up. Ah. Oh! Thought it was a bit pain with that. Aaron, mind a uh, fix your score when you take the questions away because it's still got East Fife. No hearts too. Does it? Yeah. On, on mine it's East Fife one hearts too. Take the take the Eva Doberman away. Oh yeah, the main one. All right, cool. Thank you very much. That's a, wait. Why, why is that still showing up? Wait. Oh, it was glitched. It was shown two at once instead of just the one. There we go. That's better. Let's see. Uh, am I live streaming the final? Yes. Um, um, me and Neil will both be on for the final, I think. You're not double booked, are you? Yes. Yep. We will be here. 
Are you getting any guests on in the build-up? <laughs> no idea. I'll have to wait and see. You may have answered already. Is there a Europa spot? Um, there's no Europa spot for last season's cup. It's next season's that has the um, the spot. You've been you've been told that you're class, Neil, and you've also been asked if you've got a YouTube channel. I do not have a YouTube channel, no. I work full time, so I don't have time for it. <laughs> Fair does. I just what's, your, aye, what's your favourite food? Um, I like pasta. What's the latest on Demur? I've seen something on Kickback saying that he's allegedly leaving in January. Because um, apparently his wife and kids have already moved back to France and it's meant to be like... Uh, it's obviously it's all rumours, but there's allegedly a move set for him in January, but that's somebody who claimed they were in the know and kicked back, so I'll, I'll trust their judgement and hopefully it's the last we've seen a week the Yeah. What is the game on? Come <laughs> on! It's on East Five TV. Can I... Actually, you know what? One sec, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to amend something here. Instead, welcome to the stream. You're just going to put the game as on East Twice TV. You read it. You read me like a book. There we go. Do you think that's a bit obvious now? Right. Eva the Doberman says the best game was the UEFA Cup against Bayern Munich. Yeah, well, even I'm a bit um, young for that. Um, funnily enough, um, Mr. Our, our good friend Mr. Drysdale watched that from a flat on Goggy Road. Oh, really? I did, because um, that was when um, was the, the away end nowadays, that was when that wasn't built, so he watched it from like a house behind there. At the Goggy Road end, yeah. Yeah. Rank these supermarkets worst to best. We're all about variety on these streams. Tesco, Morrison's, Asda, Sainsbury's. Worst, I'll say, Sainsbury's. Then Asda, then Morrison's, and Tesco being the best. I've got a Tesco the most, so that's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Did any of you feel sad for Levine when watching the documentary? No. Mm. No. Fair dues. Half time at Methyl. East Fife. One, Hearts, two. I'm just going to um, give Laurie a little message. <laughs> to say you're alive. I'll be back in a second. Fair dues, fair dues. So, hopefully in a minute or two we'll be joined by Mr Dunsire of Hearts TV. I'll answer a couple more questions just now. Um, another fun fridge visit for Mr Hawk. Best street food here is Nazi Goreng. Outstanding food. I do think Stendhal was the right man at the wrong time, but we've now got Robbie Nielsen, and I'm pretty happy with that. Fergie's free kick, PlayStation or Xbox. I'm definitely more of an Xbox guy. I've got a new one ordered, actually, as a matter of fact. So hopefully that um, will arrive soon-ish. Turn your camera and keep my eyes arrest. I think it can be your cheek, pal. When going to home games before lockdown, we recognised for YouTube vlogs. Actually, was, to be fair. I've been recognised a few times by people. From the um, from the um, the YouTube videos, yeah. So just gonna go um, a couple um, a couple more questions. I unfortunately you, you can't watch the second half for a fiver. It's good to see we Gorgie boys. We are the Gorgie Agro old school. I'm definitely Gorgie Agro. Session stream, no can do, mate. Sorry. What's it? Oh. Shut up. East Fife Television. I'm going to be seeing that in my nightmares, honestly. Bloody hell. Let's see. Do I know Russell Simpson? I don't think I do know Russell Simpson. I do think Hearts are going to score. Laurie Dunsire, that's correct. Hopefully the man himself will be joining us pretty soon. Get me on the Jack Express. The Jack Express is temporarily grounded. <laughs> so... We all wish we were on the Jack Express. Oh, well, we all do. We really do. <laughs> <laughs> Are we top, top, what? I don't know what that means. It sounds funny. The only way to drop his guts? No. No, no, no. I don't even know what that means, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm um, going to go to the toilet for uh, number two. Fair dues, mate. Fair dues. Best player in the first half. 
Ollie Lee he scored twice. Lovely stuff. Even a Doberman says East called our hearts. Fair dues. Fair dues. So, half time. I've eventually got through all the questions. It's only taken me 45 minutes. Half time at Bayview. East 5 1. Heart of Midlothian 2. A fast start for the Jambos with Ollie Lee scoring two quick fire goals to put us two goals to the good. A matter of minutes in. However, Jack Hamilton got a goal back on the rebound for our host. As I said, hopefully Laurie can hop on at some time soon. Although the, the internet is pretty dodgy at metal. So, it's understandable if there's some sort of connection delays. But hopefully Laurie will be joining us pretty soon-ish. Robbie Hannah says, watching the documentary makes him realise how much he misses Tynecastle. We all miss it, mate. We really, really do. Mary Black asks, what's my Instagram? My Instagram is um, at AaronFraser37. So if you want to follow me over on there, feel free to do so. Angus Bennett, best English team, Newcastle United Football Club, in my opinion. Do I think Ollie Lee will score again? Yes, I reckon he could get his hat-trick second half, maybe from a free kick. Campbell Martin, our city boy, says we're gonna, Cove are going to walk Division 1. That's fair enough, I think they will too. Let's see. Toby1874 says it's a pretty sound stream. Thank you very much. Tom Curran, that's plenty for you. My hair's amazing. Let's get you in a five-minute chat ban for your cheek. What do I think is going to happen in the second half? I reckon Hearts are still going to win. Uh, I think it'll be 3-1 full-time lead to get one more goal. Things we love to see. So, uh, I can finally relax for a couple of minutes. I've been constantly speaking for an hour and one minutes and 39 seconds exactly. Half-time here at Bayview. Hearts 1. No, no. East 5 1. Hearts 2. <laughs> I'm just there. Uh... Put the game on for my dad, so I'll be back. So you can sit and watch it. Not bother at all. Get get Buckfast Ben in the stream at full time. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Smith asks, who's my favourite Hearts player? Um, Leon Boyce and yours is um, Jamie Walker or Ollie Lee. Ben Ott, up. I think we have... I think we've got a Mr Dunsire. We do! Hello there, Laurie. How you doing, mate? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. What did you make of that first 45? It started well, didn't it? Don't you I know. Get that. A couple of goals in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it's descended into a bit of a, an agricultural lower league game since then. We've, we've kind of been drawn into a bit of a hoof up the pitch battle. Um, don't know how it's come across for you watching on, on TV. It's come across all right, to be fair, but... Actually, I missed the second goal because I tried to pause my live stream and unpause it. So, I uh, paused it and unpause it. It was 2 0. So, I'm like, very fast start. <laughs> but, yeah. I you know, getting a couple of goals. Um, I thought we could have built on it a bit more. Uh, East Fife trying to test the back line. I thought they were going the, the wrong way about it initially with a few long balls, which Popescu and Vera have done pretty well at. But, um, I think we just need to try and get the ball down and play some better football. Scott McGill's a tidy, a tidy wee player. Irving's got some good skills at, uh, with the ball at his feet. Um, but obviously, that goal's made it a little bit nervy. Mm -hmm. But but squirmy. Um, for those of you who are unaware, Laurie's actually at the game tonight, so that explains the the wind and the bovril. So yeah, Laurie's actually at Bayview for tonight's encounter. So being there in person, is it as cold as it looks? <laughs> it's not actually too bad tonight. Um, I'm I'm just around the the edge of the pitch just now. Try to stay away. Um, and there's East Fife fans doing the rounds apparently. Is there? There's a few Hearts fans actually behind the goal. There's the uh, I can't call the Hearts flag. Actually, <laughs> if you go behind that goal, there's people behind that goal. <laughs> Quality stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You can get. Are you trying to get a view for the hard goals in the second half? Are you? You need a. You need a cherry picker. I think. <laughs> folk got ladders. Apparently, folk have ladders with them to try and get a view. <laughs> that's outstanding. <laughs> See, yeah, that's the content that. we all live for in this channel. Honestly, people with <laughs> ladders. They're yeah, certainly dedicated. Can, I'm kind of. Bayview is just behind me, but I didn't. 
you have to kind of wear a mask when you're around the, the field and in the stands. So I thought I'd come out to the side, which is why I'm catching the fans walking around. Could you see them on the TV? They were behind the, the yeah. goal to your right in the first mm-hmm. half. I've seen a few of them, actually. So apparently those the guys there were saying that there's people on their, on their bonnets, people with ladders and that. Um, <laughs> That's outrageous. That's brilliant, though. I guess they're trying to get behind that goal just behind me for the second half where they're hoping there'll be some heart goals. Um, but yeah, it's it's all been the best. One of the interesting things at the moment with no fans, you can hear the player shouts. I don't know how much you can hear them on the live stream. Can you get, can you catch Not too much because there's commentary over it. So, um, Stuart and goals is, is, is very loud. Lights to dictate things, shout his defence. Um, Bera trying to organise things again. So you, you do get a bit of that. Um, Robbie Nielsen telling the ref it was a F in yellow. I don't know if it was a challenge, challenge on Henderson just before the end of the half. I watched, to be honest. It was a shocker. <laughs> he was right. He was right. But I, I, I don't know what you guys think. I, the worry is if um, it keeps going the way it's going and we allow we allow it to turn into a bit of a long ball battle because it doesn't really suit us, I don't think, with the better players. Not at all. I reckon... I've said earlier on stream, I think it'll be 3 1 full time with Lee that gets hat trick, possibly for a free kick. We want a second. I mean, one of the um, one of the interesting things, don't know if you've got your team sheet there. Uh, there's the young lad to have here, very, very good things about. I don't know if you'll get one, though. Um, you got your team sheet there, number 49. I do indeed. Aiden Denham. Aye. The only player I'll... who I didn't actually have in my match notes, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I rate him to be honest. He, he played. The, I think he played the the Sheffield United game in pre-season. So okay, I've never I, seen I, him. I've never seen him, but the guys I, were saying in in training and in some of the uh, youth games or reserve games, he's looked really good, like an attacking midfielder, number ten. But we've we've heard that before. <laughs> 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 Very true. So um, no. what's the what's the East Fife TV coverage been like? It's been pretty decent, to be honest. And the yeah. only annoying thing is the inability to pause it properly because Neil and my streams are often a little bit out of sync. So in previous weeks, I've paused it and let Neil take over, then press play again. But with this one, if you pause it and press play, it just skips to as live. So the only only complaint is you can't sync it up. Well, at least you get to see the game. I'm glad yeah. it's working. Because, so. As am I, because it, it's, uh, been, it's been a waste of £10 of it never. <laughs> Aye, East Fife, one of the good guys. So I was hoping that it would go well. Yeah, and, they uh, are. Obviously people yeah. would get a decent service today. Um, I, I'll, I'll go back out and have a, a wee watch the second half. It's, it's it's a bit surreal, as as I'm sure you you can imagine. Um, I'm not used to just sitting there watching the game. So, yeah. <laughs> first time in how many years you've been off comms? Don't know. Maybe since then. Um, the line didn't work. I think Stenhouse Muir, maybe like about five years ago or something. Is that the, the bet for tie when Gary Oliver scored? Oh, that is that is good memory. Yeah, I think we won two one that night. Is that when Osman showed off a little bit? Mm-hmm. That's a long time ago now. That's a very long time ago. That that lovely, ye- ye- yellow, um, white and blue pinstripe top. Great season that was. Can't think why. Do you think um, the likes of Freer, Henderson, doing their chance is much, <laughs> much good? With how no. Are? Being blunt, no. I think um, I think the likes of Stewart looks like he'd be a good backup goalkeeper Aye. for the team. Hopefully, him getting permanently. I reckon once his loan goes up in January. I I mean, what about the goal? Because uh, you 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 really got a replay, but I thought he maybe could have pushed it around the post if he was going to touch it away. We actually don't get replays, unfortunately. How do you know? Okay. Nah. But um, yeah, I thought I thought the boy was offside to us. So I, I didn't think Hamilton was offside when he tapped it in. But um, yeah, Stuart could have moved in a little bit better, but it happens. It does. Well, hopefully we'll, um, we'll wrap it up in the second half. Hopefully all goes well for you both and enjoy the rest of the game. I better pop back to my seat, put my mask back on. Fair does. Thank you for coming on, Laurie. Appreciate that, mate. No worries, guys. Enjoy the rest of the game, eh? Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Good, Bye. Laurie. 
Laurette Dunsire of Hearts TV. I've had a load of comments during half time I'll have to catch up on. So, right, bear with me. I'll eventually get to all of them. Ben Odlin says, been with your channel since season one. Huge Hearts fan, and I hope to see you someday when Tiny reopens. Thank you very much, mate. appreciate that. Hopefully, um, Hopefully that can happen as soon as possible, as soon as the vaccine gets rolled out to the masses, which hopefully is sometime in the new year, not too far away. Angus Bennett says, I used to watch your blogs. I'll only be a couple of rows away from you, Mary Black. Um, Neil, your thoughts on the Hearts' performance in the first half? Started really well, and then it seemed to be we're 2 0 up, and we uh, just taking a foot off, I guess. He's fine for coming here. I think he's fine for a bit shell shocked as well, but. Um, yeah, d- d- difficult, horrible, horrible place to go, you know, it's not one stand, just in the middle of nowhere, um, good days out, but yeah, mm-hmm. hopefully, hopefully we start the same way as we did the first half of the second half, and that'll, that'll do. Fair it does. Um, no, Rory, I've not blocked your number, but I'm not answering my phone when I'm live on air, that kind of goes without saying. <laughs> so, no, I have not blocked your number. You're f- I've got missed calls from you, but I'm not answering my phone for obvious reasons. Liam L says hello to Laurie. I'll tell him that you say hello after the game. Shout out to Eva's mate Begbie. Alexander Horn says 5-1, easy at second half. Um, Liam L says can you get Laurie to say hi? Sorry mate, um, Laurie can't see the chat so because he's on his phone, so I'll... He'll probably say hi to you sometime, but sorry I couldn't get that for you tonight. Liam asks what my thoughts on the documentary. Entertaining, not quite as like no holds barred as I thought it might have been. But obviously it's not gonna be quite like all or nothing man city with like the level of detail they show. But it's decent. I think it's good. Let's see. Someone who is pretending to be me. Is saying nice sweatshirt and loving the positive specs vibes. Thank you very much. Um, if there's significant interest in these, I'd put them on sale. So if would anybody here be interested in um, in these as merch? Like right? obviously last season I was planning on doing this maroon back. hoodies. Oh yeah, I have to show on the back. Um, I don't know if they can see it. Swivel round. I, I'll, I'll swivel round. But um, see on the back there, it's like a million views. So oh shit, boy. Yeah, if you'd be interested in a celebratory 1 million views specs hoodie, then note your interest. I'll see what I can do to get them on sale if they would be um, of sufficient interest. That's Gareth Cutwood. No, it's not. It's Laurie Dunsire. What are you on about? With the ladders. Ah, right. I wouldn't have put it past Gareth. It probably is Gareth. Go and answer my phone call. No. I'm on stream. Are oh, it? Why are you asking for my phone number? As if I'm gonna give my phone number out to the entire internet. That's asking for trouble. Lads, take care. Good luck. See you later. Catch you after Eva. Hope you enjoyed the stream that you saw. Let's see. Where are we? God, there's so many comments. Let's see. It's just it's just more comments about my, my, my phone number. Why won't you tell me? Are you not a Hearts fan? <laughs> I don't know if he's a Hearts fan or not. Why would he leak my phone number? What good would that do for Rory or me? Were the two goals good? They were alright, I suppose. They were decent. I'll tell you mine. <sighs> why do you want my number? That that is correct. Why why do you want my phone number? What good does that do? Can I get a hi from Laurie? Sorry, mate, too late. See, this man's gave out his phone number, and Angus Bennett's quite really said no one wants it. <laughs> fair comment, fair comment. Laurie, stay on stream and show us the game. Unfortunately, that is not possible. Predictions for the Scottish Cup final? I'll be optimistic. Hearts 1, Celtic now. Yeah, nope. I'll go 2-0. Two 2-0. Nothing. Two nothing. Auction for my phone number. No. I think <laughs> not. Auction, yeah. Right. I'm putting Mr. Rockstar on a timeout anyway. Let's see. What's your what's your goal prediction? Ollie Lee free kick for the second half. Wolf Enstein says don't take the vaccine. 
I mean, I'll be taking it when it's like available because I didn't want Rona. Um, who's cut up for international? Smith, Boyce, and Gordon. Yeah, it is indeed. My mate Gav, big hearts man, thinks it'll be a route. Oh, Naismith's coming on. Here we go. Ollie Lee again, injured. Ah, unfortunate. No, no Ollie Lee hat trick. What's the documentary on? The documentary is on BBC Scotland. I'm struggling to catch up with these. Um, to see who uh, takes the old uh, armband. Up. I reckon it'll well he's with, is the club captain, but Bearer's on already, like he'll just keep the armband on, I reckon. Someone has asked saying that Bearer should be subbed. Why? I see no reason. Yes, Robbie, I agree. It is indeed very sus asking for a stranger's phone number. Weird behaviour if you ask me. Favourite hearts games from 2016, 2017, 2018. Um 2016. That's ages ago. Uh, 2016. There will be a few, but I can't really remember too many. 27. Like, there's obviously good ones, but I can't really remember that far back. Actually, the, actually, no. The 2017 beating Celtic 4 0, and 2018 probably beat Hibs 2 1. That was decent. What's the documentary they called? It's called um, This Is Our Story Inside Hearts. Derek Sives says, if we've got a full squad, we've got a chance. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, the, the comments were an interesting place, to be honest. <laughs> Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Northern Ireland fan, he says, boys will get a hat trick. Once I post the information about the vaccine, you'll never go near it. Don't bother reading this out. Uh, Thanks, Wolf. Cheers, mate. How's White played? Alright, I guess. Nothing special, nothing awful. I think Griffins will be Hart's next signing. If if we mean Griffiths, then take a hike. Also, um, Neil, you've got a comment. Um, it's, it's good to see you back, and he said, hope your golf was okay. A good pair for the stream. <laughs> the golf was okay, thanks very much. Did you, um, how, what, what, did you, what was your handicap and your score and everything? Uh, we're playing in the winter, we don't really keep score, we just play pairs. So it's like match play. So it uh, played pretty well though, so I was quite happy. Not very often I say that. <laughs> Darren Phil Thompson says the Hearts Dog Went was a comedy show. That's plenty. Who do you think is our biggest competition for the league this year? Wraith Rovers. Oh, it's Gavin Farquhar and Ryan McIntyre with the ladders. <laughs> Some boys, fair play, <laughs> fair commitment from them. You've got to respect that. Um, Neil, are you Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Good stuff. Some of these comments are more sus than Among Us lobby. <laughs> Oof, tears of joy. <laughs> Oof, stop telling. What's this? His fake phone number. Does it work? Yep, same old story. You lads believe everything that comes out of that damn TV screen in your living room. I think you'll find I've seen it on Twitter. <laughs> I've got no idea what he's on about, honestly. We've got ourselves a conspiracy theorist. Take your tinfoil hat off or I'll get in the vaccine. I'll be getting the vaccine anyway. Will you be, will you, you'll be getting the vaccine, I imagine, Neil? Yeah. Because... I don't want the virus. Um, hit the likes, yes! Hit the like button, I appreciate it a lot. Predictions for Dunfermline away next Friday. Tough game, 2-0 hearts. Yeah, very tough game. <laughs> Someone's saying that they bet that Wolf thinks the earth is flat. <laughs> I'm saying nothing else, I'll post the evidence for them later. I await with great interest, Wolf, I await with great interest. Finn Moore... Supports Wraith Rovers. Oh, thing more. Um, one of my dad's mates texted me after the Hibs game and on the Sunday and went, I guess you know this was recorded and it was your, the highlights from us cheering with the goals on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. He <laughs> must have seen it on Twitter and he was like, I guess you know this happened. I was like, yes. Oh, yes, that's correct. I, I was aware I was on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm currently not me. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. Who was the biggest signing in 2020? Craig Gordon. Definitely Craig Gordon. Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait, see that? Was that a penalty? It was close. It looked like a free kick. Although he's not really complaining about it. Mm-hmm. Ad White looks like a yogurt raisin. It's definitely different to the wet pigeon, definitely. But oh well. When's the Hearts game starting? The game's on now. It's the fifty-third minute. East five one. Hearts two. The gaming hot dog seen me. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Very good, pal. I respect that massively. Hazard Off says, you deserve more subs. Thank you very much. Hobgoblin says, hello. Eva the Doberman, it isn't round. Well, to be honest, I'm surprised, given that you're a dug, you can comprehend thoughts of the earth's flat or round. So, you're a very intellectual animal. Fair play to you, Eva. What's happening in the game? Um, both teams are still trying to settle on in the second half. Nothing much has happened just now. Um... 2-0, it's 2-1. What English team do you support? Um, Newcastle. Neil, your English club, if you've got one. Newcastle. Good stuff, good stuff. Has a rough. Also follows Newcastle. How comfortably will Hearts win the league by this season? Mm. Hopefully pretty convincingly. I'm going to go seven games. Aye. Uh, do you think it'll be over before Easter at like the last time? Hopefully. Um, He's fighting for a dangerous attack. Yeah. Balls whipped it in. Better struggle in here. Goes down. Oh, it's a free kick. Wow. Thought it was a penalty, to be honest. I thought I better chipped one there. Here we go. Oh. What do you think? No, it's a dive. It's a blatant dive. Fair the crowd behind the, the crowd behind the goal are of help influence the referee with their shouts. <laughs> Never ref, he dived. <laughs> Uh, a, gl- a glimpse of me was caught camera in hand, legend. Thank you very much. How do you donate? Um, I've not got donations set up yet. I'll be honest, didn't think anybody would want to send me money. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I can get set up for future streams if folk feel the need. Obviously, there's like no pressure to donate because like I'm no one to ask for your money. I just want to give entertainment. But if you if your folk are wanting to donate, then I'll I'll try get something set up. I mean, I won't complain. I won't complain at all. Um, I'm to say hi to Owen Beveridge. So, hello, Owen Beveridge. What is your go-to bevy? Natural, mineral, water. I'm sensible. Yeah. Mm. That's up for debate, but I'll say water. <laughs> Imagine that semi-final with some Al Doyle or Pereira. Don't. Don't even me consider that. <sighs> awful. That'd be Awful. Thoughts on James McPake? Um, Hibs rat and get it up him for being so bad as a manager. Been going to Hearts games since I was four. Miss it today. We all miss it. You should start a Twitch. Um, well, I've already got this to live stream on, I guess. I set up donations. Well, I'll look into it for future streams. I will look into it. You've been asked them um, how the golf's going? By Rob A. Ha, ah, Robert. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Uh, it's going well. That a mate of yours? I know Robert. Yes, I know Robert. I used to work with Robert. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, Jambo from England here. Been watching your content for a few years. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Henderson's in the ball. Dangerous looking attack. If he gets it right. Bought the box. Ah! Not quite there for Craig Whiten. End of the goal is goes pretty comfortably. Go to alcoholic bevy. Um, <laughs> well, you're underage, so... Nothing. I'm underage. So... Natural, mineral, <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been said, donations go to the FOH, donations to a food bank or a charity. Good stuff, that. Very good ideas. England, what's that? It's a country. <laughs> Craig Jackson, no, it's not. It's a bottle of yellow dog. I prefer not to speak. Can you say hi, Daniel Smith? Hello, Daniel Smith. Was that better showing liabilities? No, really. The boy just dived. Watching the game right now, it's so funny when we scored in 22 seconds. It was very funny. Good stream, we came back because you rock. Lovely. <laughs> Kinsel juice. <laughs> oh, what can we say? What can we say? One of them. How are you stream ahead of mine? I don't know. Mine's normally behind, to be honest. <laughs> Bucky. 
No. Rocket fuel. Absolute rocket fuel. Rory Miller has hiked a soul. Inappropriate. <laughs> Do I know Louis Taylor? He's a good Donny. Louis Taylor? Why does that name ring a bell? That name does ring a bell somewhere. And for clarification, in case you've forgotten, the game's on his 5 TV. If Tynecastle opens doors for games, I'm going to save all my money for season tickets so I can see you every game. Pff, that's dedication. Fair play to you, Mary. I dare you to shout, come on the hearts. Come on the hearts. Yeah, don't, don't what dare that was. Yeah, your dad will be up the stairs in a minute if you shout. I know. Hearing such a disgusting shout. Never realised you were streaming, mate. How are hearts playing? Eh. Uh... Ooh! Is that not a handball at the box? Maybe not, I suppose, but. Um, yeah, hearts, we started off very well, but. Ooh, ooh, that was close. I, th I thought it was a handball at the box. We started off very fast, but. East Fife of. Um, Got back into the game. Given offside there. You couldn't handle the wine. Hmm. You're a dog. You want to talk. Name the best cup game you've been at. 5 1. Easy. Pretty, um, pretty um, easy that one, to be honest. In about it, Specky, son. Come on, you know Craig Jackson X. We work. Oh, right. I'm hard enough of your slavers, Rory. Chat bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's the game on? Chat ban. <laughs> Honestly, I've had enough of it. I'm going insane. Hello. Rory Miller on East Five TV. Are you Rory Miller can't spell East Five TV. I son have red women and black. I son better have red women in black. Son, have you read? Oh. No, no, that's what I meant to mean. Is it like the woman in like, black? Right, isn't horror. isn't the woman in black like a TV show, isn't it? It's a horror film, is it not? The woman in black. I think so. Might be. Let's see. Aaron, I'm hoping you won't spoil goals. I won't be spoiling goals when goals go in. I'll talk about them, but I won't talk about it until they go in. Because yeah. I can't talk about a goal that's not went in. Predictions for who the next manager will be. Camden, we're undefeated. Have you ever watched Thogden? Yes, I have watched Thogden. I've met, I've met him twice at Hearts games. He's very good. Do you like alcohol? Natural. Mineral. Water. <laughs> Alcohol's bad for you. Stay off it. Mm -hmm. Given that I'm only 17 for legal reasons, I must say natural mineral water. Shot. Goal! What a schemer! Oh! Absolute peach! Andy Irvin, the Portobello Pirlo, has oh, absolutely... Oh, oh, oh. What a strike! A cracker. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is magnificent! I've just done wrong capital letters. Oh, oh. oh Berra's giving them a talk at as well, because uh, they tell them to get their finger out in the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff. East 5 1, Hartman Lothian 3, Andy Irving with an absolute raker! Cracker. What a goal! Predictions for. Scotland v Serbia. 1 0 to Scotland. Bucky hits you like Mike Tyson's right hand. <laughs> Best game. Hearts at Aberdeen after I got promoted from Div 1 in the 80s. We rocked. It's a, oh, it's a book they're reading in school. Predictions for the Scotland game. 1 0 to Scotland. We've both said that one. Goodbye, Karen. Hope you enjoyed the stream. East 5 TV. <laughs> You've been mistaken for Rab Lockhart, Neil. <laughs> Yeah, for reference, he's, he's a boy on heart stuff with a, a, a big beard, so right, you, you, you look a little bit alike. Winter's coming. The beard's coming to stay, you know. <laughs> Aaron, sorry. <laughs> Aaron, stop lying. Shh. You heard nothing. Get in. Don't follow Scotland. Why bother? 
because they're your country and they're your national yeah. team. Or you're one of the weirdos that didn't follow the Scottish national team. Strange I kind of, I get that. I get that. I kind of went off it for you were. Nah, but it does does let folk. But they fall out for strange reasons. Yeah, I think now though that under Steve Clark, everybody could relate to it at all. I think under certain previous managers, it used to just ball be like, in the box. The old Go for the what? Is it Hamilton again? Hey, I'm no, unsure. Is it Wallace? Is it Wallace? Yeah. Again, this game is not right. over yet. East 5 2, Hearts 3. An absolute goal fest at Methyl. Can't talk about goals that didn't go in. Pfft. That patter is rotten. Can't wait for Scotland Serbia. Get Granny Tom on the pitch. Good idea. The Gorgi boys are in town. Indeed, indeed. Sorry, Saul. Just mute me. Just mute me. <laughs> in my ears. Sorry about that, but it was an absolute raker. I saw you in Leith the day. Well, I'm from Leith, so you'd expect that, to be honest. Really hope we get to play England at the World Cup. That would be very good. Hawk Albert Gubath says, That was a bonny goal. Scottish players who are not Scottish, no thanks. Weird though you are. Thanks to Aaron, my neighbours 500 yards away now know that Hearts just scored. <laughs> <laughs> Unban my account from chat, please. It was just a joke. Mm. You've got that account. Just watch it on that. What what, what were the first two? What were the first two goals like? Um, close range, and a reasonably close range from a corner. Will Rangers win the league? Yes, they will. I think they will. Do you think Edinburgh City will win the league? No, they won't. Queens Park will win the league. Grew up three doors down from Andy Irvin. That lad was always kept kicking a ball against the walls all day. This is his yee high. He's got a great attitude, to be fair. Yeah. His dad was a pretty decent player, so. Aye. Edinburgh City. Shout out to James Ingram. Well, it's an absolute goal fest. East 5 2, Hearts 3. I didn't expect this good. Is that a good game? Like, we shouldn't be conceding that many goals to East 5, surely. Yeah, but, you know, you're away from home. You've made a lot of changes. Oh, um, oh my jaw is cracked. Oh. Oh. You've made a lot of changes, you know, it's difficult. Oh, it's rather so. Better watch oh. you've, still got another, you've still got another of talking to go, so. That's oh. very, very so. Who's your favourite rapper? Um, I like, um, where are we? I, I, I'm a fan of um, the kid Leroy. If you know heard them, check him out. It's for Australia. He's, a, he's actually he's younger than me, but he's like worldwide famous. He's very good. I'd recommend him. Let's see any more things. So, oh, Rory, see for that part. You're getting another five minute chat, bud. <laughs> What's wrong with <laughs> It's just rinsed part of it. Let's see. Best derby we've been to, not the 5 1. Um, been a few. The first 5 1. Oh, I wasn't at that game. That was the De Vries one, isn't it? Yeah. Christoph Berra is now a ball playing winger with a pair. He's going flying up the park. <laughs> Hopefully he gets back. Was it, oh. a long rain, was it a long range shot from Aaron Fraser? No, it was a, it was a long range shot from Andy Elvin. I'm in my house. He's at Methyl. Shout out to Hobgoblin's girlfriend, Sadie Anderson. Got to be the 4-4 game. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't oh, at that game. Ah, that was good. Was that the one in stoppage time? That was like, oh no, we've just been beat 4-2. And then Hart scored and then all Hibs have to do is, oh, all Hibs have to do is like knock it out or knock it like to the Hart's goalie and they, they give away a free kick. Hearts lunge it in the box and it's 4-4 and you're like, this is just ridiculously. That's this astounding. Is real... yeah. Do I listen to Polo G, Drake and Lil Wayne? I listen to none of them. Uh, I see that name in my comment section sometimes. Andy Irving went to Joshua's primary school. <sighs> well, 
to be honest, I was expecting I was expecting to see probably a more of a clean sheet performance from Hearts if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. But a lot of changes, as long as they win. Ah, that's true. The win is um, all that matters. I've also Neil put up a rather funny response to the Hearts goal tweet, so check that one out just now. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you hope you've not created me into a meme. Nah, not you. It's Austin McPhee. <laughs> Save. That deserves a like, surely, Neil. That's a decent tweet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 good save. Good goal save for the keeper there. Is this, is this the one you've... Nah, this time, just go, uh, the, the goal for East Fife tweet. <laughs> that, that's a good tweet, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, isn't it? Ah, well done. That's going to be used several times now. <laughs> I think it will be, mate. I think it will. Let us see. <laughs> Rory Miller, more like Windy Miller. What? The best derby I've been to was Ostock's halfway line goal. Fair dues. There's no pies tonight. Unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't away and get a pie. I don't listen to McCroy, mate. Who's winning the top flight? I reckon it'll be Rangers. I reckon Hearts are going to win, mate. Yes, got to go in. Thanks, good stuff. Thank you very much. Please come back for another stream in future. Stuart is on loan from Livingston, mate. And let's see, what's this? Specky. Sartner. I'm here. I like your hoodie. Thank you very much. Well, as I said, if there's sufficient interest, I'm going to get these on sale. So if people want them, they can get them. Um, I'm not doing a stream myself for the Scotland game, but I'll be um, over on Gogsy's channel. Thank you very much. We we call on the speaker to give us a song. Um, H e a r t s. If you can spell it, then here's what it says: Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. Sits down at Dunk Castle, they bide. They're talking it to another boys in maroon and old Ricky's have put some with pride. This is my story. This is my song. For the hearts, and you can't go wrong. Oh, some say that Celtic and Rangers are grand, but the boys in Maroon are the best in the land. H-E-A-R-T-S, if you can spell it, then here's what it says. And there is your song! There is your song. Is there any player you'd re-sign for Hearts? Eh... Uh... Like, if you mean been... all time in Robbo or Scatchel. And speaking of, um... Players, Stephen Kingsley is set to come on now for, I'm going to assume it's going to be Eddie White. Yeah. Uh, do you know, it's Christoph Berra. Berra's off. Played so, 70 minutes on his return. He's done well. Yeah, That's he's done very well indeed. Match. Surely nazi has got the, the skipper's armband now. You'd assume so. Favourite pie? Steak pie. My thoughts for Craig Gordon for the future. Um, bear in mind, right, he had a number of years in his career over a serious injury, so he couldn't play. So see all those years that he missed? He'll still have them in the tank now, I reckon. So he could play maybe in his 40s, I think. I think he'll get another cup. We'll get this season, maybe another two out of him. I think we'll be doing well. I will be doing well. Wendy Miller, mind the fresh air. Oh, that part is rotten. Thoughts on Craig Jackson? Good guy. I like him. Get your specs off for the boys. <laughs> You're welcome. Please stop. No. If you were Hearts manager, would you sign Sam Nicholson? Nah. Like that that would that ship sailed, I think, to be honest. Like we could have got him back, he never wanted to come back, so yeah, you can move on. And number ten for Hearts feeling the captain's armband is Lionel Specky. No, it's not, it's Stephen Naismith. Reckon any upsets tonight in this game? Nah. <laughs> right. Maybe a bit harsh, but justified in this circumstance. No, Adam, I will not be singing that song. Why have I got specs in my jumper on my head? Because I require them to see. And it looks class in my jumper, that's why. 
<laughs> just, just, tu- just tuned in. Didn't have to earlier. What's the stream on? Oh, for the love of Craig Lighton. <sighs> the game for the final time to is on fair, East Fife TV. Young Maroon Army Vlogs has not asked this question yet. So. Fair dues, I suppose. You're a hot dog. Shut up. Do you want a third? Do you want a third chat ban, Rory, for your cheek? Do I look specky my glasses off? It's a talent, a specky folk have. Like, it's honestly admirable. Forehead. Chat ban for you. As I said, get better off, retire him. Why retire him? He's still fit, he can still play, we need defenders. Mighty Craig Watson's gonna score a hat trick if he came on. Whiten is playing. So, don't know what that's about. Wolf would bring back Lafferty. To be honest, see for like cult hero status, I'd like Lafferty back. But because of his wage and like his age now, he's like 34 now, I think. I think he's probably past it now, sadly. But I do like him. I do like Lafferty. Yeah, I like him. He done us a really, really good job, eh? So. Mm. Um. He did. Right, cheers for that clarification, Rory. 35 minutes here on the clock, we're going to finally talk about the game again. Hearts 3, East 5 2, 74 minutes on the clock at New Bay View. So, I'm aware it's going to descend into a bit of a Q&A session, but that's the nature of these streams. See when the games is like, uninteresting at times as this, the questions do help. The questions, the questions do help to um, pass the time. Mary Black, are you going to sign for Hearts? I wouldn't get a game for under 15s, mate. Celtic ten in a row or Rangers fifty five? It'll be fifty five. It will be it will be fifty five. Um, let's see. It's no on Hearts TV because um, he's fighting for the home team, so it's their exclusive pay per view tonight. So there's no Hearts TV. There's also no Hearts TV commentary because um, uh, they've only got one working commentary line tonight, and that's why Laurie wasn't on duty. Would you sign Rudy in his prime? Yes, but now he's a retired ex footballer, so no, I would not bring him back, given that he's been retired from football for about a year and a half now. It's disappointing tonight that um, we're not seeing East Fife in their glorious black and yellow tartan kit. It's actually a very fetching number. Like, see when it first got um, brought out, I'm like, really? But actually seeing it, I'm like, it's lovely stuff. That's that a is, very nice tip. No, nice. Tit. no, that's getting clipped. No, <laughs> that's getting clipped. That's getting clipped. That's what? getting clipped. Can you take your phone out? What? No, I said nice tits and a nice kit. Ah, Ricky Edda, Ricky stuff at a time. I watch um, I watch uh, I go through stages of playing foot champs and stuff, and if I can be bothered, then even be bothered playing it during the week. So there's a couple of guys that stream on like on YouTube. Yeah. So they stream if there's any new content. Out of the box. Ah, I'm lucky. Um, so your man Pieface. Oh, he's so funny. He's brilliant. <laughs> if, if you watch him live, he swears. My like, veins. I send my veins. He swears like a trooper. <laughs> oh, no, he does. <laughs> but that's his live streaming, and you watch it on YouTube, and it's all been trimmed and have been cut to cut. And yeah. It's all, like, For the ad good. money. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Aye, Pieface is um is well known for a uh, for um. His loud <laughs> mouth. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed the um, when you go into his comments on Twitter that the amount of memes that folk have made of him. Oh, they were brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I, the best was when it, when it, like, he gets the deal right can and he's like, yeah, like with the dubstep. He beats a guy on penalties and he's got absolute mental going. Oh, so, so outplayed, so, outplayed. You're like, guy, okay. Ah, so funny. I'm destined to work for Hearts TV. Thank you very much. I will not do the Renegade, and I will not do the bloody WAP. No! I will not. Who's your pal? That is Neil, and is he better than Baldy Boy So OK? Um, well, if he can score for Northern Ireland, then I guess so. Who's your favourite player who won the Cup? Sir Rudy. Shut up, Callum. Um, Any more new comments? It would appear we do have some. Am I good at FIFA? I'm bang average at best. Um, let's see... I am not doing a TikTok dance. 
Hearts are playing ooh, over the bar from Whiting. Who are Hearts playing next? We've got Dunfermline a week on Friday where you saw Renzal died. I was gutted. I found out live on stream and I was um, I was visibly gutted to be honest. Neil had to actually take control of the stream for a while because um, I was just I was rocked by it to be honest. But I'm just glad we got the win for him. Very glad indeed. Shout out to Baldy Voice OK by the way. Best chat on Twitter. Some place honestly. Let's see. <laughs> if you don't do a TikTok right now, you get a Baldy Voice OK chat ban for 24 hours. I don't even know any TikTok dances. Like, do you want to like move your arms about and hope for the best? Just Google one. Right, I have to, I have to Google a TikTok. Actually, I'll, I'll go on a TikTok and find a dance. Right, here we go. I never thought we'd doing this live on stream. Um. Wait, right, it's a simple one actually. It's like you, you do your, your arms about the place. I think it's like that or something. Do 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 do. Right, no chat ban for me. There's your dinner. Um, Declan loves you, Neil. You're loved, Neil, by Declan. Thanks. <laughs> Happening, Aaron. By average lies. Shut up, Adam. Check the hearts chat. Oh, this is why I, this is why I dislike you, Rory. This is why I severely dislike you. <laughs> we won the cup. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at a different cup for Mr. Clark. I'm not going to highlight. But yes, if we win the cup, it will be for Big Zal. I've just done the dance. I'm not getting removed. Who would you sign if they were not retired? Zali, because I'm Scatchel. Has to be Scatchel. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Neil, are you, you're being asked, do you not love Declan back? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how can you break a man's heart like that? I'm uh, just glad I'm not getting dogs abuse like I was on my first stream. Um, yeah, by the way. I'm very well, thank you. And Christopher Scott is asking when we're getting Graham on for a full stream. <laughs> I did see you, Dad. I said, look. I'm available for the cup final, Graham. I think you could make it happen that, Graham, you could be on the cup final stream as well. I think your dad could sit down the stairs with a laptop in front of him and... and... That'd be outrageous. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to think of... Well, me and your dad now be on YouTube since you left us talking. Yeah, on... you, you, you two are on there, by the way. At the, at the end of the stream, it was just me and your dad talking a lot of rubbish. Really. Yeah, before I, before I took it off the air when I went out, yeah, you, you, you're, you're both on stream just talking waffle. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that to him. <laughs> what was both of our first Hearts games? My first Hearts game was um, Hearts 1, St Johnston 1 in 2010. Callum Elliott scored the opening goal. I couldn't um, tell you. I really couldn't tell you my first Hearts game. It was that long ago. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the video of Andrew Constantine? Yes, sir. And he can boogie. I think that's what the guys are meaning by a TikTok. So if you do the Andrew Considine dance, nah, they're, they're asking me. To, they're asking me to do the lap, and um, the lap. I will. I will not be doing the lap. Like, if you want to research it in your own free time, feel free. But um, you'll be seeing why I'm not doing it. Okay. Let's see. I'll have to um, put a few of them in time out because I'm not doing the lap. Robbie Nielsen or Daniel Stendhal? Um, Robbie Nielsen. Let's see. I'm going to block the entire Twitter chat at this rate. <laughs> Removed from Baldy Boyce, okay. A line has been crossed, deck one. Have I actually been removed? I'll, I'll have to go check this. This looks a bit um, interesting, to say the least. The lap. Yeah. <laughs> now you can see why I don't want to do it. You can pull a hamstring. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 now do you see why I am not enthusiastic yeah, I to do it I don't blame you don't entertain it don't entertain it I will not entertain it Adam Hill's first game was the f was the game against Auckland Lake Talbot well it wasn't really an awful one we won the cup after that one so not yeah. a bad game that is correct Craig but I've also got a dignity to protect what little dignity I've got left yeah 82nd minute of the game, it is still 
<laughs> three two to the hearts. Um, I'll, I'll not be highlighting that comment, Declan. I'll not be highlighting that. That's, that's disgraceful. That is awful. Ah, so as we approach the last five or so, um, I can see that. Comment. So much. <laughs> <laughs> These midweek scenes are a bit, eh, uh, at least we can concentrate on the football at the weekend, man. Yeah. They're, they're a bit no filter, shall we say. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you. <laughs> hey, for a start, Bobby, that is incorrect. So, no, I do not. Uh, any subs? Nah. Not yet. Games to be honest, it's been pretty quiet since he's five made it two, three, but hopefully see this one out now, just just a case I get to full time. Yeah. So you said the goal is only a month till... January, I think. Really? I thought yeah. Aye. Yeah. Saul Forbes says the earth is flat and vaccines kill babies. You, oh. That's the... Um, oh, are are you getting... A hard hit? I know, it is, but I could just make a joke out of um, Wolf's theories earlier. Right, let's see. I've got less dignity than Ross. I guess so. No WAP, no Twitter chat. There's a line, there's a line, Bobby. Cheers for the class, stream. No bother, Adam. I do, Declan, I do remember our celebrations. I'm pretty sure I fell head over, like, head over heels and into you. So that was a bit of a laugh. It's been an interesting stream, Aaron. I'll give you that one. It's an interesting stream. Ad White now on the ball, pings it long, straight out the park. Love that. Adam Hill, been subscribed since 200 subs, been since 1617. Oh, mate, you're a proper OG of the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the continued support. If Andrew Considine starts in any of the three games for Scotland and scores, you need to recreate the video. I think you should agree to that. I don't want to dress up and drag singing it Yes Sir I Can Boogie. You don't have to dress up and drag. Just wear your jumper and advertise it. Aye, that's not, that's not a bad one. That's a decent one. Show the stream. No can do. No can do. Copyrighted footage. Wolf says it's facts, not theories. It's off the one. Proper OG, loving it, don't stop. Thank you very much. And no, no, Craig. I, I will not I will not be on the lines after the final. That that will not be happening. This is definitely no filter. You told me oh. this is a family friendly stream. <laughs> well, family friendly content from us, but we, we can't monitor the chat. Well, we, just right, have to okay, see. we can't monitor the chat, right? Yeah. If you can't do the WAP, then give a paw. There's a paw. Can I get any rocket fuel delivered to go, bitch? I don't know. Ask NASA. Do you think Hearts could see another goal? Would bet or not? Although, East Fife now got a free kick in a dangerous position. So, oh. would bet or not? Ball whipped in. Actually, no, it's played shot. Number 11, cracks it, good tackle. Now hearts are breaking through, A.D. White. Actually, is it Stephen Kingsley? He's going too fast, I can't really see who it is. It is, um, that's A.D. White, you can tell by the hairline. Oh, lovely touch. Ball whipped into the box. Who's there, back stick? He there, oh, saved. Just save the five goalie. Still 3-2 to the hearts. Good chance there. Good chance. Yeah, it's a good chance. No, I, I don't know, Robbie. Nah, you want to be in, you want to be annoying at all, Mary. Don't worry about that. Favorite Hearts page on Instagram. After saying myself, won't I? That sounds narcissistic, but I like my own page. Speaking of that Instagram page, I'm gonna plug my socials. Haha, <laughs> great prompt. Thank you very much, Katie Finlay, for that very timely reminder of me to plug my social medias. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so over at, at AaronFraser37 and on Instagram at the aforementioned at we are the Godgate Boys. So, thank you very much for listening to the social media chat. Want to follow me over there? Then feel free. 
Instagram account, have you? Have you? Have you moved it named? Have you? I thought you were Aaron Fraser. Like that's that's my that's my personal Instagram. Oh, uh, dangerous! Get it out! Get it away, hearts! No, I just thought you had a different one for your blog. Woo! I've I've got like a one for myself, like one for like all my heart stuff, really. Right, okay. Don't you dare give that a penalty. Don't you dare. It's not, thankfully. Let's see. Paw is whap backwards. Brilliant. Oh, jeez. Oh. Bill's name is in Einstein Vlados. What part of Go Bridge are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Buckenstein. <laughs> if Scotland won, I'd have down Bucky live on stream. No. Nah. Just don't do that. That's not nah. Apart from yourself, actually, I do like um, HMFC, a team for me. He's a pretty good fan page, actually, or could be a female that runs it. They are a very good fan page. Adam Hanratty is indeed back. Adam says hi. Hello, Adam. How you doing? Elbow cough, do a dab. You happy? <laughs> I really... <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> What channel is the Scotland stream on? It's on Sky, it's free to view. Shane Duffy's your da. No, he's not, I'm no Irish. Of course you'd join Bucky on stream, Rory. Second favourite. Um, HFC team for me, as I've said. Have to go to the vets, my dog is not breathing. Well, um, all the best for your dog. Let's see, clip that. What have I done now? Do I want to add it back to the Twitter chat? Well, am I out the Twitter chat yet? Oh yeah, I am. Um, yes, um, <laughs> please do add me back. Please add me back to the Twitter chat. What high school did you go to? Um, <laughs> I, I still go to Leith Academy. I'm, I'm S6. So yeah, I still go to Leith. <sighs> Who will get relegated both Premiership and Championship? St. Man will get relegated for the Prem and for the Championship. Maybe Aloha, but they might just hold on. I reckon they could just survive. If not Aloha, then Queen of the South. So, yeah. That's my predictions. A whap on the wide back. Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I've been exiled through the Twitter chat for refusing to do TikTok dances. <laughs> the chats have come on the sense of Yeah. I've I've just given up a hand of the chat bands at this point. Like it really, it really doesn't help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's only so much I can do. It's it's all folk for the hearts to our chat. Just wiring in. So there's only so much I can do. Um, all I can say here at um, Specky Production, we, we don't um, have any control. So I don't endorse any um, expletives uttered in my chat. This is merely a platform for their views to be um, to be expressed. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh. We're passing the 80-minute mark here at Methyl. Still East 5-2, Hearts 3. Hopefully, an indication of how much added time's to be played. Hopefully not too long for the full-time whistle. Come on, Hearts, see it out. Oh, no. East 5 for in. Whee! Why did I target? Cheerio! Surely that's full time now. Hopefully that'll be it once um, anyway, then. Oh, dearie, you, should that. you should bury that. Hopefully once Ross Stewart um, gets the ball away, that should be yeah. full time. Thanks to East 5 TV. At least it wasn't a bot this week. Oh, at least it's not pixel up, following bald heads all over the shop. Well, especially with the linesman, that would have been a reference. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been outrageous. Ah, oh, God. Ball out to the left with Elliot Freer. Back to Scott McGill. Naismith. McGill. Good ball in the box. White in, looking dangerous. Back to Freer. Back to Nasey. Gives it away. Freer's won it again, though. Freer kicks it out. Should be a corner or a throw in, perhaps. Ball 
not long to go in this encounter between Hearts and East Fife. So, Neil, your thoughts on a man of the match, perhaps? Oh, oh. it's been a pretty rubbish second half. I think we have to give a man of the match to Ollie Lee for his two goals. I'd say so too. Uh, although goal of the match has to go to Andy Elvin. That was outstanding. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say man of the match, Ollie Lee, because without that fast start, I dread to think um, if the game was like this, like a 0 or 1 0, I dread to think where we would have been. So, yeah. Very glad that Ollie Lee gave us that very fast start. Definitely. Adam Hanratty is congratulating Ollie Lee on the Man of the Match Award full time at Meth Hill. East 5 to Hartem and Lothian 3. The backup brigade get the job done. Thanks to two quick fire goals from Ollie Lee and a screamer from Andy Irving. East 5's two goals are scored by Hamilton on the rebound and Wallace. However, that was not enough for East 5 to get anything from this game. Full time score at Meth Hill. East 5 2, Heart of Midlothian 3. So, won't be too long left of this stream. Probably going to end it in a couple of minutes. But any um, final appropriate questions from the chat, fire them away for us to answer. If not, they'll be ignored. Christopher Scott says, cheered, ch- cheered. Cheers for the stream, boys. Brought entertainment to a standard COVID Tuesday. We are the hearts. Thank you very much, mate. Glad that you find our um, professionalism, um, <laughs> professionalism entertaining. Um, I hope you enjoyed the action tonight. Harris Spence says hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. Thank you very much for tuning in, mate. And thank you to everybody else on the stream for tuning in. So, I reckon I'm going to end the stream there. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below once the stream's processed to YouTube and let me know your thoughts on the 90 minutes. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at AaronFraser37 and follow me on Instagram as at we are the Gorgie boys. Joel Snedden says thank you for the good stream. No bother mate. Thank you very much for tuning in. It is very much appreciated. But yeah guys, I'm going to end the stream just now. So once again, cheers for watching. I'll see you for more very soon. Until the next stream, which will be a week on Friday for Dunfermline Away. Thank you very much again for tuning in. Take care and bye for now. Catch you after guys. Thank you very much for tuning in.